like arranged marriage, for example. Like people say, what's an arranged marriage? It's like an introduction, like for Dave, you know this bird? Yeah, I know what, mate. I'll introduce you, mate. Same thing. He said, sometimes that bird's your cousin. <laughs> How are you going to let your parents choose a woman for you when they can't even choose a jumper? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll grow into it. will stretch. <laughs> Because a lot of white people get all moralistic about arranged marriage. Yeah. That's disgusting, mate. How, how can you do that, mate? <laughs> what did you do last night, Dave? Oh, I got laid. <laughs> Who with? Don't know her name, mate. <laughs> it's all right for you to bone someone you met five minutes ago and not marry them. <laughs> I'm going to have an arranged marriage. I'm going to raise that shit myself. <laughs> with some white women. <laughs> That's my favourite flavour. But what would a white woman react to if she was in an arranged marriage situation, you know? I spoke to this woman right, called Jane Fielder to try to help me out with this. This is me, Prince Raj, in my beautiful British palace. So I invited Jane to bring her daughter, Amy, to experience some of India's finest culture and rich traditions. She had no clue. I mean, arranged marriage. She, she is perfect for me. Really? Perfect. Do you mind if I spend a couple of minutes talking to your daughters? Mm, sorry, I'm just going to get myself a, a glass of water. No, water. Is that okay? Please, okay. help yourself. So you are do, doing good job. You got a good flat. Yeah, I got a flat. A boyfriend? No. No, no single still? Single. Well done. Why to be? Why, this is the way I like it. Yeah, wait a bit. Your mother tell you why you come here today? Um, something about Nanny Betty, I think you used to work for your mum. The, the main reason was the dying wish of my mother was to meet you. Oh. And now we have met. Everything is coming to place in the universe. <laughs> and a uh, couple of things I want to give to you as a gift. Okay. My sister is here, Gita, and she's prepared this gift for you. Oh. Uh, Gita! <laughs> Here you come, it's really special for you. Ori chori, ori chori, man beli hai, hai, tu lo chiri pagal Beautiful. Very nice. You know what this song means? Is it like a family thing? The song is about this girl from the Essex who meet an Indian man and they get married. Okay. <laughs> I also have one more present for you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Especially for you. Shall I open it now? Please. You like it? Yeah, thank you. You put it on the tables and then you concentrate. Put your hand on the top. Can you feel the energy going through you inside? This means you will become pregnant very soon. Oh no! So just put your hand down. I'm pregnant. You don't want to be pregnant? Not soon. Very soon, because you've already touched it. <laughs> my last gift to you it was my mother's dying wish for you to meet me and for us to formalize that meetings. If you just want to please take this contract. This is for you. May. Marriage. <laughs> This is a contract for our arranged marriage. Uh, money yours? Yes. <laughs> this is why your mother brought you here and it was a dying wish for my mother for me to get married to you. Because of the family connection. Okay, can I have my mum in here first? Your mother has already signed it at the bottom, as you can see her signature. <laughs> She has agreed to this. The whole your family has agreed. Next week we will fly you to India and we will get married. Okay, well, um, can I talk to my mum just for a second? This is like the TV show Take Me Out, but only one option. Me. Okay, I'm not going to sign it. So my mum gets here. I don't. I didn't know nothing about you. You don't like me? No, it's not. That. I didn't know nothing about you. So I've got my other life. But I love you. <laughs> We've known each other how many now? Long time now? Ten minutes? You should get married. Oh, hold on, let me just... I think it's your mother. Who is this? Hello? 
Okay, one minute. I can't talk at the moment. I'm talking to my wife, new wife. Okay? I'm talking. Sorry. Let me go and find your mother and I'll bring her. Okay, thank you. Just read the contract first. Sign it, I'll come back and I'll bring your mother. Okay. <laughs> Amy's here. Round of applause for Amy. Yes, sir. Do you actually believe your mum was going to sort you out and arrange your marriage to some yeah. Indian geese that you never met before? Yeah. Now you know how we feel. <laughs> you got pregnant yet? <laughs> that shit comes out white, there's going to be some trouble. <laughs> Not everyone reacted positively to it. There was one girl, right? When I told her there was a massive dowry at stake, I got this reply. But you have agreed to do this. Verbal contract. Yep. This is all the money. You have no problem from here. We we'll buy you all the zoo you want. Um. Okay. As long as you know, I'll just be with you because of your money. Easy. <laughs>